All right, so welcome to Escape Simulator. Uh, guessing it is a virtual escape room game that is faithful to the concept of escape rooms, which I am really excited about. I really, really do enjoy escape rooms. The thing is, like, where I live, it's it's hard, it's hard to find a group. It's definitely normally a group activity, or at least the physical locations are built to be designed as group activities. Uh, so going on your own to an escape room, I don't know, it, it just never felt... I, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. Uh, but this game came out, uh, can be played solo, can be played co-op. Um, also has a workshop element, so you could look at other people's escape rooms, which I'm definitely looking to do for, you know, the future if I continue on with this game, which uh, honestly I expect to. I I'm really excited about this one. Um, I'm actually really kind of surprised that it slipped under my radar. I didn't know anything about this game until uh, a couple days ago. I uh, ended up purchasing it last night, and yeah, I'm excited, so let's get into it. Uh, first things first... I'm assuming this is my avatar. We're, uh, we're gonna change that. Um... Go. Oh, this looks a little bit more real to life. I don't care. I like this. This is a good look. Uh, do I want the suit the entire time? We'll wear glasses to make him look smarter than he actually is. Alright, sweet. Um, also... Uh, music, we're gonna turn this down. Can I enter custom values? I can. That That's good. That's a good start. FOV... Right off the bat, they got the arrow keys for movement, which I, I always do that. Um, one of the first things I do when starting up a game is I always change uh, WASD to the traditional arrow keys. They just got this for me. I like that. I appreciate that. I Not like for me. me they, they, they had no idea I was going to play this game and that those were my normal controls, but I, I appreciate that. It allows you to do two separate key bindings and default actually ends up being the arrows because those actually make sense. Um, sensitivity, I might have to play with that, but... Alright, looks good so far. Do play solo. Start with a tutorial. On the top of the world. Alright, so right off the bat, um, I 
cannot change controls. Okay, I'm gonna need to turn the sensitivity down on the mouse way down. Oh, nope, right there. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't quite want half of what I have, so we'll say 10. Yep, there we go, perfect. Marty was here. Una. Okay, so when the cogwheel comes up, you interact with it. When the hand comes up, you grab, okay. So, arrow, okay, so arrow icon means dragon hold. Ooh, I like that, uh, little line that shows where it's gonna end up. That, that's cool, I like that. Uh, grab means click to press and hold, then I guess when it's, when there's an image, an after image of it, just press it again to grab, okay, cool. And cogwheel is interact something important. So there is a delay with picking up. Oh, okay. Okay, magnifying glass is zoom and enhance. Okay, I got it. There's a timer on it. That's fantastic. Alright, nothing. 
I like how, like, when an object is in a room, like, for example, there's this object sitting here. It's in, like, a locked place. When I examine it, I can look at it, rotate it, grab the token. You know, I can do whatever I want with it, but then as soon as I get out of examining, it just goes back exactly the position it was. I broke something. Secret token. Do anything? Not really. Secret token. Oh, well, okay. I already found that. I'm legitimately probably just like severely overthinking this particular puzzle. I probably have everything I need and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know why I feel like this is important. Probably isn't. something out. Yeah, of course I wouldn't go there. It's just a wind-up key. It doesn't tell me anything. This has to do with the car. It does have to do with the car. Okay. Congratulations, I snuck out of a child's bedroom. 
Okay, yeah, definitely overthought that one. Um, and I missed quite a few secret tokens. That's unfortunate. Um, but fantastic game so far. Controls are very fluid, and some of them do have to be kind of like shown to you or explained to you, as is the purpose of a tutorial, but they make perfect sense. They're very intuitive, and it is not going to get long, or it's not going to take too long to get used to the controls, especially in regards to be, being able to do everything you would want to do with an escape room, like picking up objects, examining them, moving them, putting them down, uh, even throwing them could be important, I would imagine. So, uh, yeah, phenomenal start. I am excited to keep up with this one. Um... So, we'll just exit to menu so I don't stare at a grown man dancing in a child's room anymore. Uh, Labyrinth of Egypt. Okay. So, okay. Different themes. I like this. So, what is this? Right, so, we're going we're gonna to say this one doesn't count. Um, but let's say 5, 10, 15, 17 rooms so far and more coming soon. Plus community rooms. I'm down. So I think I'll just go down the list. Um, next time, or next attempt we do is going to be the first chamber in the Labyrinth of Egypt. So thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.